A request to purchase $300,000 worth of camera production equipment ended up getting pulled from yesterday's city council meeting. This is folks spoke up during public comment about what appeared to be costly purchases during a time that city leaders are trying to find ways to trim the city's capital budget. Tonight, our Bill Churchwell found out where that money is coming from and whether the item could go back in front of council. Bill? Mike, the city says the request is based on needed upgrades to replace outdated production equipment in order to reach the community. However, it was the price tag that had both community members and city council members asking questions and ultimately led to the item's removal from the agenda. Why does the city need to buy a um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy quality red Raptor 8K video camera for that same amount of $40,000, we could buy a few more of the cameras that they already use every single day. Vince community member Jason Page, who went in front of city council members to bring That's attention to the again. list of what appears to be pricey big budget items being requested by the multimedia division of the city's communications department, including that $34,000 cinema camera with starter pack, four carbon fiber tripod systems totaling over $13,000, and seven $2,100 office editing chairs totaling almost $15,000. The agenda item pooled before the council meeting. This is just like red flags all went up and I'm glad that it got pulled. There was not a real understanding from council members as to what the price of these things actually should be. I went to City Hall to speak with the Assistant Director of Communications about the list of items they hope will enhance their production quality and community engagement. Now the list that was provided on the council agenda was actually just a price sheet. So not necessarily the final purchase sheet, which we are going to come back and provide. She also explains that the money requested would not come from the general fund, meaning it would not be taxpayer dollars, but rather what's called PEG cable funds. So these funds are made up of a 1% franchise fee that gets charged to all cable providers. So like your Grande, your Spectrum, they pay into this PEG fund on a regular basis. The money, she says, can only be used on infrastructure improvements and equipment related to their public access channel. And just to provide clarity, the chairs are not going to be on there, will not be on there in the future. What about that $34,000 cinema style camera and starter package? As far as that specific item, I think it's subjective. What might work best for you or one photographer, one videographer might not be the best tool for another. And yes, I think it is important for our team to have high quality uh, products so that way we can produce high quality products. And we're told that the item will be brought back to council with changes as the communications department looks for the best ways to improve their multimedia division. Now, just to give perspective here, this camera is what we use to film news stories. It's about $2,800.